back to another video. Um, unfortunately, I stupidly brought my GoPro and left the SD card at home. So I'm having to film on my phone now. I hope the quality's okay. I hope, hope you can actually hear me um, with the sheep in the background. <laughs> uh, so in my last video, I talked about the pro license status, the fact I've got the pro license, which is awesome. If you, ha <laughs> if you haven't seen that video, uh, I'll link it above. Please do go and check it out because it gives you more details about the appeal and British Triathlon changing the criteria, which is awesome. Um, and so in this video, I'm going to be talking about what my plan is for the rest of the season and going forward into next season as well. While I'm standing there cooling off, uh, I thought I may as well talk about what the plans are for uh, the pro license. So basically, yes, I do have the pro license and I have qualified for the pro license. However, I am going to wait to kind of get the pro license next season. So I've qualified this season and I could take it for the rest of this season, but part of me feels like it's a bit pointless for a number of reasons. Reason number one, there's not too much left of the season. Like I know there's still a decent chunk left of the season, but I'd like my first pro season or my my second pro season but the first pro season a couple of years ago didn't really count because it was a bit rubbish um i i want it to be a full season getting loads of weird looks from people in cars so having qualified this season it makes sense to defer it and wait to gain my pro license next season have a full season of pro racing the other reason is it gives me an opportunity for the rest of this season to be a little bit more rogue with the races that i'm doing and be a little bit different and do things I wouldn't normally get to do because of chasing you know percentages times positions and so that excites me and it means that the rest of this season I can do stuff that's really different really exciting um, stuff that I wouldn't normally think about doing stuff that's going to keep me motivated and kind of keep the fire burning ahead of my first pro season which would be next season another reason would be it gives me another bit of time to be in the best shape possible when I start racing professionally. So another winter behind me, another winter of base, strength, all of that good stuff uh, means that I'll be in a better position come next season. So that's the plan. Um, getting some weird looks from people. <laughs> um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> um, so that's the plan. I'm taking my pro license next season. So 2022 will be my pro season. Um, and I don't know what races I'll do next season. I think it's a bit early to determine what races I'll do, um, but really excited about it and really excited about the rest of this season. The rest of this season, I'm racing still as an age grouper and I'm planning some really cool things. Like I said, some really different things, some really rogue things. Um, and it should be really cool. I've already entered a few races and I'm gonna talk through a bit later what those races are and Hopefully I see a lot of you at those races. That's not damage from the delivery man, that's damage from the dog. <laughs> from the receival man? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Look what he's done. This isn't just a random delivery. This is something that will hopefully hint towards a few things I'm going to be doing later this season. Uh, a few things I've entered. And there are other things to talk about as well, but let's open this box or let, let's look at the oh, lid you're opening this box. Come on. Mm. Yeah. Da, da, da. Wrong way round. Wrong way. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> those. Harry sock game is amazing as usual. Yeah, these are the socks I'll definitely be wearing. Yeah. I'll do the classic finger my toe for no apparent reason. So these are the Scott Supertrack RC2 trail shoes. Uh, the reason why I went for them, number one is the reviews looked really really good. Number two, I knew Scott did some really nice high-end shoes. Um, and number three, 
they look sick. And so that was probably the main reason for going for them. Um, I wanted to make sure that it had a good mix of really good traction, but also it was not gonna be uncomfortable on hard pack trails and on the tarmac as well. I do have some other trail shoes I've been using. I got them for like 30 quid off sport shoe, I think it was. They were like the cheapest ones I could find. And they're so uncomfortable and I need something that's a bit more comfortable and a bit more rugged for the stuff that I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the season. So the reason, yeah, the reasons why I've got these are a couple of races later on this season. Next weekend, <laughs> next Saturday, I'm doing the Exmoor Trail Challenge. I've decided to do, I think they've got a 5K, 10K, half marathon, marathon and ultra. I've decided to go for the marathon. So starting in Portlock next weekend, I'll be doing a marathon trail race. Uh, no idea how it's gonna go, just something a bit of fun, why not? It's something that I wouldn't normally, like I said, it was something that I wouldn't normally get to do in the middle of a triathlon season when I'm normally focusing about, you know, positions and percentages and getting, you know, some sort of result. The fact that I've got the pro license lined up for next year and I can accept it next year for the whole season means that the rest of this season is kind of freed up to do what I want. And this is stuff that I've always been interested in doing. So why not? Like, you know, now's the perfect time to do it. So next weekend I'm doing, like I said, the trail race next more. I'll vlog the whole thing and we'll see how it goes. Could be really good, could be really bad, um, but it'd just be a really good experience. And then later on in the year, I think in October, I'm doing one of the Maverick series races in the Jurassic Coast. Um, and that's an ultra marathon. So I think it's 55, 56K. Those are obviously things that I'm really excited about. So this marathon next weekend is gonna be really cool. And then gearing up for an ultra trail race along the Jurassic Coast in October is gonna be mad, really excited about that. It's just something so different, something that I really just wanna throw myself at and just see how the body reacts. Um, and then also for the rest of the season, we do at T3, we want to get a couple of teams together for the uh, team relays at Nottingham. That'll be really cool, really exciting. And I am focusing on Outlaw Bowood as well. The reason why I'm focusing on Outlaw Bowood is because it's literally like maybe 30 seconds down the road from where my parents live. So I know the roads really well. I'm going to try and get out as much content before the race as possible with regards to course recce, stuff like that. So if any of you are doing Outlaw Bowood, let me know in the comment section below. I'll try and get as much content out, like bike course recce, what the swim course looks like, what the run course looks like, any tips and tricks that I have up my sleeve for the race day, because like I said, I know the course really well. I've grown up on the course. I know exactly kind of where, hopefully where to apply the pressure and where, to, where you can relax a little bit. So I'll be giving my kind of personal tips with regards to that. And that's a race that I really want to focus on doing well at. And I think that's beginning of September, if I'm right in saying. Um, and then potentially Outlaw X as well. I haven't actually got an entry for Outlaw X, but it's been a race that I've been eyeing up for the last couple of seasons. And it's something that it looks like a really good race. It attracts some really good competition. So again, it could be, you know, it'd be a really nice race to do. So by no means am I just doing trail racing the rest of this season. I'm still very much doing triathlons, outlaw racing, which I absolutely love outlaw, the company itself and the outlaw races that they they, they provide. Um, but I'm just mixing up with some different things that I've kind of always been intrigued to try and now seems like a good time to try it. We got some buns and some, ooh, I didn't notice these. I know. Where are you, wait? Thanks for providing your phone. Yes, Harry now knows my password and I'm scared. It's all Ferrari. Um, also, actually, what I do want to say is I'm a complete newbie to trail racing and especially like ultra running and like long distance trail races. So this one's just like a massive punt. I'm just going to go and see what happens. And if it goes well, great. If it doesn't, then great. Um, but if anyone has any tips with regards to well, anything with regards to trail running and you know, long distance trail running, let me know, because I've not done much trail running. I haven't got too much, especially race experience. So if anyone does have experience and they've got some tips, please share them in the comments section below, because uh, I could do with some help. And um, yeah, appreciate you watching the video. And I will see you in the next one. Ferrari.